Well, this is a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Euro Truck Simulator 2 on my gaming channel that is normally things like Daisy, PUBG, Call of Duty, Battlefield, that sort of thing. But I think I may well have discovered, 10 years after the fact, the best driving game ever. <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, Euro Truck Simulator 2 on PC, and it's a real shame that it's not on console. You know, it's been around for a long, long, long time, and um, I'd constantly be seeing it on, on Steam, on Steam sales and things like that. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you here. I kind of thought it was a bit of a joke. Um, and when I talked to people who um, played it, I thought, why would you want to drive around in a truck? You know, I, I compared it with, like, like the bus simulators um, and things like that. And I'm like, well... Surely a more exciting driving game would be a, a a racing simulator, you know, Gran Turismo or Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport, all that sort of stuff. Um, and, I, you know, I watched some vids and it didn't seem much fun. The other thing that kind of put me off a bit was the fact that um, the map in um, Euro Truck Simulator isn't a perfect map of Europe and the UK. You know, like in Microsoft Flight Simulator, where it is, you know, it is like for like, um, on the ground with the mountains and everything that is what it actually is because it's all based off satellite data Euro Truck Simulator is a truncated version of the map so you've got all the names and things but it's all, it's all kind of squashed in much 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 smaller and you only get like the major uh, motorways and, and A roads that sort of thing also it's very RPG like so you can't just jump in and drive from London to Paris it's very RPG like you, you slowly build up your XP so that you can get skill points, so that you can then um, uh, take on longer journeys, take on different uh, types of uh, 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 storage, different types of cargo, that sort of stuff. And you, then you gradually open up the map as you're going along. You don't even have a truck to start off with that you own. You're just a jobber driver. You've got to kind of get enough money or take a loan out to be able to buy, buy a truck. However... I was very aware that the people who played it really liked it and lots and lots of people play this game so I always kept an eye on it and uh, Paul at work was very much he liked it and we had uh, one of the drivers as well Mick really liked it at work um, and I was like well there's got to be something to it hasn't there so I keep an eye on it and I also noticed that it had Steam mods so that kind of excited me because when a game has mods it means that you know my channel is a lot, of, a lot about tutorials isn't it how to do sort of things and with an older game like Euro Truck Simulator, doing tutorials on how to play the game probably isn't the best of things that I could do. Not that, not that many people were probably interested because they've been playing it for a long time. And or there's lots of tutorials out there already that will be much better than anything I could do. But when it comes to installing mods and uh, configuring mods and things like that, well, I've got lots of experience about that from DayZ and Armour. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. So a few days ago, it was really cheap on Steam. Um, I think you could buy the base version for less than a fiver, but I went for the Steam Essentials pack, which I've included the base game, and I think going east, um, so it takes us sort of through to Eastern Europe and Scandinavia as well, and some other little bits that I don't really understand. And I've got to say, I think this game is amazing. <laughs> I, I, I don't only think this is probably one of the best driving games of all time, I think it's one of the best games of all time. It is really, really cool. Now, the first things you've got to get over, are, especially when you're watching the video, is the graphics aren't amazing. They're very workmanlike, but I will say this: they run very, very smooth. I mean, I've got the, I've got, I've got quite a beefy PC, haven't I, with my new uh, Lenovo Legion T5 with the um, uh, uh, GeForce um, Nvidia GTX 3070 in it. But it, you know, it's running along at. 120 frames a second most of the time um, dips a little bit in the rain um, I've got it on ultra settings um, and I've got a few mods installed as well in fact I should really talk about the mods now before I forget so the mods that I have got installed are the AI traffic pack so you'll see more vehicles more of, and a bigger variation of vehicles on the road than you normally see in the vanilla game I've got realistic vehicle lighting mods F a uh, fail environment i've got realistic rain real european gas stations reloaded and real traffic density so there should be more traffic now these are all free mods you get them on steam and in other places and i will do videos on how to install them so this probably looks slightly different um, to the vanilla game but it's all free all these add-ons very easy to do 
So the graphics are, you know, workmanlike and very, very smooth. And although I'm, I'm driving from Birmingham to Cardiff in this run, I think, and everything it's kind of got a bit of a British feel, but it's not quite right. You know, the way that the signs are, the way that the slip roads are on the motorways, things like the... Um, the um, the way that they have speed cameras on the motorway in a way that we don't have in the UK, um, things like the haystacks by the side of the reed, side of the roads, or all the sunflowers. Not, not, it's not, it's not perfect, but it does give you a feel. And I have driven in France as well in Euro Truck Simulator, and it does feel very different. Not, you know, side of the fact that you're on the other side of the road. Um, so, yeah, so it's not quite right, but it's definitely doable. And you know, with the colours of the the um, the, uh, the 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 road signs and the motorway signs, yeah, it does have a British feel if it's not quite right, but it didn't put me off. Uh, the sounds they're pretty basic, but again they're good enough. But I'm pretty I'm fairly sure there's lots of sound mods out there that you can install to improve the the, the sound. But so so now you're saying, well, okay, so why is it so good, Rob? Well, you definitely feel like you're in a big truck, um, and you'll see in this video most of the time I'm using the in cab feel, and you have that presence of being in a vehicle a big vehicle where you're higher up but you're really filling up the whole of the lane you know when you're coming up to um, junctions you're really aware of wait a minute I've got this long trailer on if I turn in too tight I'm going to take out that um, traffic light that's behind me um, everything is a lot lot tighter than in a car you know the vehicle has momentum as well um, if you slow down too much it takes you especially on hill it takes you a while to get up speed again and then braking as well can be a bit scary um, so you feel like you're in a truck and it has this really good driving loop which again is probably going to sound crazy but you kind of start off in the depot and depending which depot you start off on it, it, it's a little bit tricky to get out of the depot normally but not very difficult you know you have to look around and see where's the exit you might have to reverse and move around and then you'll have the narrow town roads that you've got to navigate through again where you're thinking about um uh, how how far is the trailer sticking out? How far do I have to swing out to get around this? Um, how how I forget, I've got to get around this um, roundabout without you know cutting it? Um, and then you get onto the motorway, and then it's quite relaxing when you're on the motorways. So you, you're trundling along like yeah, big trucker, da, da, da. Re really good. I'm um, smoking the bandit sort of stuff. Um, but then maybe there'll be some roadworks, and you know you'll have to ch you have to slow down to get done for speeding. Um, and then you start to to speed up again. And then you'll get nearer to your location and you get on the narrow roads again and this this run here what i'll do is i'll i'll leave the whole video playing because it's worth watching it through to the end because it's really interesting because i spend a bit of time on the motorway then i have this long run through the welsh countryside and we come across some really cool things there's like a there's a broken down car on the brow of a hill there's level crossing with a train the rain starts coming down so that there's bad visibility um, and then, then you, you get onto the smaller roads near where your location is, um, which again is trickier again, so you're a little bit tense. And then you get to the yard, where you then have the choice of you can just stop the, the mission there and, and take your money, or you can park it in an easy location, or you can park it in a harder location. So this is when you have to learn, you know, you have to reverse a um, articulated lorry, and it is really difficult. <laughs> trust me it well i say trust me i find it really really difficult and if you watch the video to the end you see you know the, the hash up i make it i mean i do manage to park the vehicle up and i do get an excellent rating but if it was in real life people would be laughing their heads off as i was trying to get this um, lorry into the correct place however what is really really cool is that this game it it really recreates that feeling you get and, and drivers will understand this you know when you're in your car or, or any vehicle and you go into a location you haven't been before especially when it's in a town or a city and if you've got your sat nav on and you're trying to find this place and you're not quite sure it is where it is so you you're relying on the sat nav to get you there um, and so you're concentrating on the sat nav but because you don't know the area you, you're also concentrating on the road more than you normally would and you're concentrating on the traffic lights and the giveaway signs and the roundabouts and all the other road traffic that's around you and you're getting really nervous well not really but you're more nervous than you normally are when you're driving around um, the towns and roads that you know and it gives you that feeling of of you know you've got these multiple inputs that are coming in that you've got to keep an eye on am I going to miss my turning um, is there a car in the in inside of me? Oh, oh, there's a there's a traffic light coming up. What lane do I have to be in to get around this roundabout? It recreates that, um, and it feels really great. So, 
Anyway, so I've been really very, very impressed with your um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I highly recommend it. If you've got a PC and you, you see it and you think, well, maybe when it goes on sale and it's less than a fiver, buy it, install it and have a drive round. And you may well be very, very surprised and as delighted as I have been. Because I tell you what, <laughs> I think this is going to be my game of choice for, you know, when I finish with DayZ and PUBG and I, I just kind of want to relax and just drive around. I'm just going to fire this up because, it, yeah, it is very, very enjoyable. Anyway, that's enough for me. I'll leave you with the rest of the video all the way through till I get to my location. And um, what do you think? You, many of you have probably had your Truck Simulator 2 for a long, long time. So if you've got any mods that you highly recommend that I should download, please put them in the comments down below. Um, and obviously, if you enjoyed the video, like. If you want to see more of this, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.